Have you ever copied a phone number incorrectly? Perhaps you've written a 2 when it should have been 3. What are some possible consequences of changing digits in numbers? Sometimes there is little effect, but you might find that you can call your doctor in an emergency. Mistakes in DNA code can produce similar results. Sometimes there is no effect on an organism, but often mistakes in DNA can cause serious consequences for individual organisms. The cell processes that copy genetic material and pass it from one generation to the next are usually accurate. Accuracy is important to ensure the genetic continuity of both new cells and offspring. However, sometimes mistakes can occur in the genetic material. Any mistake or change in the DNA sequence is called a mutation. Let us have the effects of point mutations. Consider what might happen if an incorrect amino acid were inserted into a growing protein chain during translation of the DNA code. It might affect the synthesis of the entire molecule, right? Such a problem can occur if a point mutation arises. A point mutation class is a change in a single base pair in DNA. Now let us have a simple analogy that can illustrate point mutations. Read the sentences below to see what happens when a single letter in a sentence is changed. The first sentence is, the dog beat the cat. The second one is, the dog beat the car. As you can see class, changing a single letter changes the meaning of this sentence. A change in a single nitrogen base can change the entire structure of a protein. This diagram shows what can happen with a point mutation. In this point mutation, the base guanine was changed to adenine. This change in the codon caused the insertion of serine rather than glycine into the growing amino chain. Sometimes the errors caused by point mutations don't interfere with protein function, but often the effect is disastrous. What about a frame shift mutations? When the mRNA strand moves across the ribosome, a new amino acid is added to the protein for every codon on the mRNA strand. What would happen if a single base were lost from a DNA strand? This new sequence with a deleted base would be transcribed into mRNA. But then, the mRNA would be out of position by one base. So as a result, Every codon after that base would be different, as shown in this figure. So this mutation would cause nearly every amino acid in the protein, often the deletion, to be changed. The same effect would also result from the addition of a single base. So a mutation in which a single base is added or deleted from DNA is called a frame shift mutation. Changes may occur at the level of chromosomes as well as in genes. Mutations to chromosomes may occur in a variety of ways. For example, sometimes parts of chromosomes are broken off and lost during mitosis or meiosis. Often, chromosomes break and then rejoin incorrectly. Sometimes, the parts join backwards or even to the wrong chromosome. These changes in chromosomes are called chromosomal mutations. Now, what are the effects of chromosomal mutations? Chromosomal mutations occur in all living organisms, but they are especially common in plants. Such mutations may be serious because they affect the distribution of genes to gametes during meiosis. Gametes that should have a complete set of genes may end up with extra copies of some genes or a complete lack of certain genes. So. Few chromosome mutations are passed on to the next generation because the zygote usually dies. In cases where the zygote develops, the mature organism is often sterile and thus incapable of producing offspring. So the most important of these mutations are deletions, insertions, inversions, and translocations. Okay, so let's try to explain them one by one. What is deletion? Deletions occur when part of a chromosome is left out. 
It happens when there is loss of part of a chromosome. Insertions occur when a part of chromatid breaks off and attaches to its sister chromatid. The result is a duplication of genes on the same chromosome. Okay, so this is called genetic material added from another chromosomes. How about inversions? Inversions occur when part of a chromosome breaks out and is reinserted backwards. Or it happens when the direction of a part of chromosome is reversed. Translocations occur when part of a chromosome breaks off and is added to a different chromosome. Meaning it happens when part of a chromosome breaks off and is combined to another chromosome. This type of disorder is due to chromosomal level mutation. Okay, let's proceed now to errors in disjunction. Many chromosome mutations result from the failure of chromosomes to separate properly during meiosis. Recall that during meiosis 1, one chromosome from each homologous pair moves to each pole of the cell. An error occurs in which both chromosomes of a homologous pair move to the same pole of the cell. The failure of homologous chromosomes to separate properly during meiosis is called non-disjunction. In one case of non-disjunction, two kinds of gametes are formed as a result of non-disjunction. One has an extra chromosome and the other is missing a chromosome. So the effects of non-disjunction are often seen when gametes fuse in fertilization. Well, I'll give an example. When a gamete with an extra chromosome is fertilized by a normal gamete, the zygote will have an extra chromosome. So what do you call this condition? This condition class is called trisomy. So in humans, if a gamete with an extra chromosome number 21 is fertilized by a normal gamete, the resulting zygote has 47 chromosomes instead of 46. So this zygote will develop into a baby with Down syndrome. Another case of non-disjunction involves a total lack of separation of homologous chromosomes. When this happens, a gamete inherits a complete diploid set of chromosomes. So when a gamete with an extra set of chromosomes is fertilized by a normal haploid gamete, offspring have three sets of chromosomes and are called triploid. This condition is rare in animals but frequently occurs in plants. Often, the flowers and fruits of these plants are increased in size. So many triploid plants such as the banana are of great commercial value. While organisms with extra chromosomes often survive, organisms lacking one or more chromosomes usually do not. So when a gamete with a missing chromosome is fertilized by a normal gamete, the resulting zygote will lack a chromosome. This condition is called monosomy. Example includes human females with only a single X chromosome. Zygote with other type of monosomy usually do not survive. So what are the causes of mutations? Mutations are generally random events. DNA provides the variation that enables species to evolve. Mutations that occur at random are called spontaneous mutations. However, it is known that many environmental agents also cause mutations. Exposure to X-rays, ultraviolet light, radioactive substances, or certain chemicals can cause changes in DNA. Mutations often result in sterility or the lack of normal development in an organism. So if these mutations occur in human gametes, they can cause birth defects. If they occur in body cells, the mutations can lead to cancer. The best example of DNA mutation is the COVID-19 virus. All viruses, including SARS-CoV-2, or the virus that causes COVID-19, evolve over time. 
when a virus replicates or makes copies of itself, it sometimes changes a little bit, which is normal for a virus. These changes are called mutations. A virus with one or more new mutations is referred to as a variant of the original virus. When a virus is widely circulating in a population and causing many infections, the likelihood of the virus mutating increases. The more opportunities a virus has to spread, the more it replicates, and the more opportunities it has to undergo changes. If this is your first time watching my videos, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.